today's video is going to be something completely different because I wanted to make this just for a, a few reasons but it's not a rant or I'm not naming names or anything like that. I really wanted to film this video because I have experienced seeing these bits already and also I have a feeling that this would be very important to everybody who's going through this right now. Well, not now, but every single day. For the past few weeks, if you have been following me, then you'll know that I've been a little bit tired, a little bit stuttery and just not very confident and just a little bit cross. And um, these were more regularly shown in the live streams. And um, I apologise for anybody who I snapped at, really, to be honest, because I wasn't too sure how I was going to react. And I took it just a little bit out of control, really, to be honest. But like I said before, I'm not naming names because one, it's completely unfair. And two, I don't want to be the bully. For the past few weeks, I have been so cyber bullied and the main reasons why I got cyber bullied was because of my appearance. Since I don't wear a lot of makeup I know that I show my spots a lot, I just get physically tired because I know I have the bags underneath my eyes and also I'm not like the other girls because sometimes people say you should wear makeup just because the other girls do it or you shouldn't have the same hairstyle like all the other girls do. To be honest that really really made me feel uncomfortable and I have been heavily affected by it. I, I was getting a little bit depressed and I felt anxious about it and I've been slipping away from my family a little bit because of it and um, I haven't really told this before I actually sat down to do this video but I told them a few days ago and it was something that I didn't really want to do personally but I think at the end of the day I made the right decision. However, this wasn't the first time that I have been bullied all through my life before I did YouTube and since I've been doing YouTube I have been bullied. I have been bullied for a lot of things, mostly my appearance and I have been bullied because of my disabilities and I've been bullied because a lot of people didn't include me or allow me to speak in groups and also people have told me uh, on social media that I look ugly. However, what I learned from these experiences is to be myself. And being yourself is the most important thing ever because to be honest, this is what makes you unique and beautiful on the inside. I was raised to believe that I could do anything and I could just actually be who I am. And sure, I make mistakes now and again, but that's just me. And with these mistakes, I continue just to learn about myself a bit more and just to experience of who I am and what I do and how much things are very important to me. I have lost a few friends along the way because I wouldn't change things for them. But at the end of the day, I am not going to change anything about myself. But I know a lot of people are not comfortable with this and it can feel like it's pressuring really. And there were times that I didn't really say anything to my parents, which I do regret today, but I think I actually got my confidence up a bit more because I know I can trust my own family. But there were other ways that I coped after I was bullied. And one of the things that I did was to keep a journal. I know it does sound like Bridget Jones, but for me, it really, really helps. I wouldn't post stuff about bullying on a blog really but this is just my own opinion because I know I may get into trouble but the reason why I decide to keep loads of journals is because that I would just write on whenever I feel sad or feeling blue and I actually feel better for it. It's also a good way of looking back when I reread my diaries in say 10 to 20 years time and by writing some entries about it you can actually 
look back on yourself and if you compare to your individuality between then and now then you'll know how far you have come in a positive way and also I have talked to a lot of helplines and I didn't really feel comfortable about this at first but today I feel very confident and it opened a lot of doors to me. Having one-to-one -one sessions really helped too. Having someone to talk to you one-to-one -one and to interact with you without talking to someone on the phone actually really helped as well and that was in my case when I went to the NSPCC for help after I had a terrible traumatic experience whilst I was at primary school and I give huge praise to the NSPCC for helping me for every step of the way and I try to support them as much as possible so that's why if you follow me on Twitter then you'll know that I have retweeted uh, some things from the charity but at the end of the day all the bullying has changed me as a person sure I'm not brave or I'm not perfect but I am who I am. There is a saying that bravery comes when you least expect it and I keep this quote close to my heart. I'm not a very brave person but I know some people who are extremely brave and I would do anything to help them in any situation that that is there for them. With social media playing a heavy part in our lives now, I think that more than ever that people do need support whenever they feel bullied. And sometimes it can get pretty, pretty serious. But it's not too late to solve the situation. And sometimes I regret some stuff that I have never said. But I'm so glad that I resolved the situations and now I feel as a woman that I can have the opportunity just to tell people what I feel uncomfortable with, just to explain to people what I'm going through without ranting about it. But also I feel comfortable talking about it with everyone around me, including my parents and my carers. In the description box below, I have included a telephone number from the National Bullying Helpline. And if you, or if someone you know has been affected by bullying, then this number will always be here should you ever need it. And with that, I'm gonna be drawing this video to a close. No one should go through bullying alone, but we're all in this together and Someday I know that life will point you into a positive direction. So don't worry about anything. Just always be true to yourself and always be brave.